Rival parties are suggesting contrast and countermeasures to the regime's test firing. The main opposition called for a change in Seoul's North Korea policies, while the ruling party emphasized the peace momentum should not be broken. Kim mo has the latest from Parliament. The ruling Democratic Party has expressed regret over North Korea's recent firings. Speaking at the National Assembly on Friday, ruling party floor leader Lee In-young urged Pyongyang to stop such provocations and return to the negotiating table. But despite the latest developments, he stressed humanitarian assistance to North Korea should be provided immediately. The past conservative governments also agreed on the need for humanitarian assistance to the North. Aiding the North Korean people is a separate issue from the latest missile tests, and we should actively proceed with it. Meanwhile, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party said that North Korea's latest actions reflect its true colors. It stressed that the government needs to take a hardline approach, such as maintaining stern sanctions against Pyongyang and the annulment of the inter-Korean military agreement. Our policy on North Korea was a Pyongyang first policy rather than a Seoul first policy. It's about time to shift such policy to one that centers on the nation's interests. The leader of the centrist, Paranmide Party, also criticized Pyongyang, calling for the North to settle the diplomatic issue through a more mature way, such as dialogue. As for the minor opposition parties, the Party for Democracy and Peace and the Justice Party expressed concern, highlighting that the North's recent actions will not be of any help for the regime's survival or its economy. They both called on Pyongyang not to undo the past year of inter-Korean efforts for peace. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.